European Parliament has formally approved British diplomat Julian King as the EU's security commissioner. And Simon McGregor Wood has more from Strasbourg. Well, Julian King's confirmation as the new EU Commissioner for the Security Union uh, came as a surprise and has been contentious in some quarters because, of course, he is British and it comes in the context of the British decision to leave the European Union in the latest referendum uh, at the end of June. To discuss that and the implications of the creation of this new body of the European Commission, I'm joined by Claude Moraes, the chair of the parliamentary committee that was grilling Ambassador King <laughs> earlier this week. You clearly felt that the Britishness of this new EU Commissioner was not a problem. Why? I think the confirmation of Julian King showed that in a mature parliament, uh, the emphasis on the evaluation, looking at competence, looking at the hard work that produced a knowledge of the brief and understanding that these are big legislative important issues of security within the European Union, uh, sometimes can take precedence over the very difficult elephant in the room, if you like, of, of uh, it being as a result of Brexit. And I think for that reason, the confirmation today, um, I think, is about the European Parliament acting on issues of accountability. He will be accountable uh, to the European Parliament. And he will talk about those issues of security, internal and external, which will fit very well with the priorities of citizens. Uh, and these are very complex issues of anti-terrorism, um, of data versus security and getting the balance right, um, anti radicalisation and I think he will bring quite a lot to the table. And in terms of why uh, the European Union is creating this new Commission post, why now? I mean, what are the, what's the impetus Well, Britain it? has to, under the rules, have a Commission position. It is not an option or an optional extra. It has to happen. And I think it's a good sign that we're taking something substantial and substantive. It's a coming priority in the European Union, a sensitive priority, and one in which the United Kingdom has a very good reputation. We head Europol, we chair the committee, uh, our officials are well respected in this area, and we have experience in anti-radicalisation and anti-terrorism. You know, we don't always have the best model but we can share best practice and I think for that reason this is a very good appointment. Mr Morris, thank you very much for that summary. Um, so clearly then uh, Julian King has been confirmed in post and I think it's important to remember that uh, this uh, commission position has been created in response to the growing concerns of European citizens about their security and of course on the issue of Brexit it's quite clear that the UK are considered broadly in Europe as good uh, at security and it will be an issue for the United Kingdom to be involved in European security and anti-terrorism uh, once uh, even once the UK leaves the European Union. So it's an enduring concern of the British and I think that has influenced uh, the decision to appoint Julian King as the new EU Commissioner for the Security Union.